This is question 9, UCE 2022. A piece of calcium was dropped into water in a beaker. State what was observed. So we shall need first know the color of our calcium, which will have this gray appearance. And then usually when you drop calcium into water, what happens is that because of its density, it will tend to sink to the bottom. So whenever metals react with water, they tend to release hydrogen gas. And because whenever a gas is interacting with a liquid, we shall see bubbles. So we are having some bubbles of a colorless gas, which is our hydrogen. And this gas usually tends to cause some highly reactive metals to float, but in this case, the bubbles are not rapid enough to cause the calcium to, to float. So we shall see the calcium sinking as it somehow dissolves or reduces in size as it dissolves in our water to form calcium hydroxide. So the question is state what was observed. So you must have some prior knowledge on how metals react with water. So the gray solid, which is our calcium, the gray solid sinks with effervescence. So sinking is an observation. Effervescence basically means bubbling, rapid bubbles being formed. Effervescence of a colorless gas, we can tell it is colorless because the bubbles can be seen as colorless bubbles, unlike colored gases like chlorine, where you might see a green shallow gas in form of bubbles gradually disappears like i've said because it's now interacting with the water obviously with time it will go on disappearing as it dissolves in water gradually disappears to form a white milky suspension so calcium hydroxide will be our product formed together with hydrogen however this calcium hydroxide is slightly insoluble in water and as such some of it will precipitate out as a solid so the undissolved calcium hydroxide will cause a milky appearance a white milky suspension being seen just like we normally see when, when testing with carbon when we, when, we, when we are testing carbon dioxide with our lime water so we shall see a white milky suspension so these are the observations a gray solid sinks with effervescence of a colorless gas gradually disappears to form a white milky suspension write the equation for the reaction so calcium is a solid which you wish was gray in our previous roman one it reacts with water to form our calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas then we have to balance it with a two so this is the equation for the reaction when calcium is dropped in a beaker containing water the blue litmus paper was dipped into the resultant solution in a state what was observed now calcium hydroxide will be our resultant solution we shall have calcium hydroxide Calcium hydroxide contains hydroxide ions, so that means this is not an acid, this is actually basic in nature. So we are likely to see the blue litmus paper remaining blue because calcium hydroxide mainly contains hydroxide ions, which bring about a blue litmus paper remaining blue. Had it been red, obviously the red litmus paper could turn blue. That is all for question 9. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.